Well, hello there guys, Eugene here from Review Outdoor Gear, and I am here with Eric from Ingalls Creek Wilderness Outfitters to review this awesome splitting mall from Grand Forge Brooks. They have three different splitting axes or malls. This is the splitting mall, they have a splitting axe, and then they have a splitting hatchet. What we're gonna do here is we're just gonna briefly look at some of the specs of this axe. I'm gonna quickly talk about just the construction from me taking a look at it. I'll you know measure it, weigh it, show you kind of all the details of it, talk about the sheath. And then we're gonna have Eric, who's actually been using this mall for a prolonged amount of time. He's gonna go ahead and talk to you guys about his experience with this mall. He's been doing a lot of splitting and uh, making fences and all of that kind of thing. So he's really put a lot of use into this thing. And then we'll actually go ahead and split some logs here. So hopefully you'll find this a useful review and demonstration of this hacks. Let's get into it. So you guys know about Grand Forge Brooks if you've been watching any of my videos or other people's videos. It's a very, very nice company. Uh, all these axes are made in Sweden. Their handles are soaked in boiled linseed oil and uh, their heads are hand forged with a pneumatic hammer. And uh, they're very, very nicely made. They have this nice rustic look to them and this nice patina that stays on them from the factory. Um, and I'll talk a little bit more about more of those details. Now this head on the mall is five and a half pounds and the whole ax, I'm gonna weigh it right now for you, all together with the handle and this sleeve, is about seven pounds and one ounce. Um, the, the mall does not come with this wrapping here on the back. This is something that was added by Eric, um, just for more grip here on the back. Um, the handle has very, very nice grain orientation, very nicely uh, aligned with the cutting edge there, and very nice and dense. Uh, it does have a nice swell, both directions, nice straight handle, and then it has this widening here at the end. Widens out to about two inches. The handle here is about one and a half inches. And in terms of the width of the handle, it's about an inch, maybe an inch and a quarter wide. Um, the handle length from here to the very end is 31 inches. So it's a nice handle length. And then they have the sleeve that covers the front for about three inches. And the back is about one and a half. Um, and then the head itself, runs right at about eight and a half inches this way. The splitting edge here is about two and seven eighths. And then you can see here that it tapers really, really nicely. And then the beginning of the taper, it's about one and three quarters all the way up here. And then it has sort of like a, a sledgehammer driving sledge here on the back. And you can use that to drive wedges. And you can see Eric's been doing that and we'll have him talk to us about how that is. So it's really nicely tempered. It's a very nice quality steel from Grand Forge Brooks. Um, it comes sharpened really nicely. Uh, we actually put a, a new edge on this or just kind of resharpened re it because it's been a little bit beat up, which is good. I mean, it's been used well. Um, you can see this nice tapered grind. That's really nice for splitting. And then the back is also very, very nice here. And it's intended to be used for, for driving wedges. The sleeve here is like, uh, man, what is that? Maybe a 16th of an inch thick and that'll protect your handle from breaking when you do hit this on the log you're splitting. Now it looks really nice. Here we have the Grand Forge Brooks logo and this is the Smith's initials. And on the other side, we also have Grand Forge Brooks Sweden stamped into, into the mall there. It's fitted really, really well here around the edge. You can see the handle and the metal sit right up against the head here. And that's very, very nicely done. Um, and then here we have a very nice uh, mushrooming on the handle, and there are no gaps whatsoever here around the handle and the eye of the ax. It's fitted very, very, very well. It has a nice wedge and then a metal wedge in there. It does not look like it's moved at all, and Eric's has been using this thing quite a while, so it's sitting very, very well on there. So here's the sheath that we have with this ax. It has the Grand Forge Brooks stamp there, and uh, it's been used, and you can see it's beginning to wear off here a little bit, riveted together all the way throughout, no stitching and it looks like it's soaked with some oil. It looks actually not so bad. Um, but one of the reasons Eric brought this over for us, outside of just doing this review, is he wanted us to use it to make a sheath for it. And here's what we came up with. So here's the original sheath, and here's the sheath that my dad made. And you can see that uh, this is a very nice sheath that my dad put together. Um, it's gonna be available on our website. And you guys can see how these are made by clicking a link here in the top right corner to see how these sheets are made. In the description, there will be a link to Amazon as well as to our website to check these sheets out. Now you can just see here, we have stitching all the way along. We have a welt, it's glued together. Three rivets to hold the corners together. 
if you do chop through this, you shouldn't hit any rivets and you should be good. Um, and then it's formed to the ax very, very well. And so when you put this thing on, it sits like a glove without even putting the strap on. It fits really, really nice and tightly and it's formed both direction and it is very, very well fitted. So there it is. Hey guys, this is Eric for English Creek Wilderness Outfitters here, and I'm here with Review Outdoor Gear to just give you a little bit of uh, insight on the Grands Force Brooks splitting mall. Uh, they went ahead and they made this excellent sheath out of it. Uh, they're going to be selling these, and this is the quality is beyond what Grands Force does, and sadly, but uh, it's it's. Yeah, it's amazing. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about this mall and what makes it different, what makes it special, and why it might be worth it for you to get it. Uh, the Grand Source Brooks Mall, it's a little bit lighter than your normal, say, eight pound mall that you'd get in America. The bevel is very straight and flat. It allows you to drive in and actually make cuts versus uh, some other type of mall that it, it's almost like a complete convex bevel and it, it's it gets stuck, it likes to pop out, it doesn't like to drive into wood. And that's what uh, can make this uh, such, a, such an excellent tool. It also features a shorter length hickory handle, which might be a little bit uh, different for you when you first get it, but I think you'll learn to appreciate it and the control you get with it uh, overall. I would recommend wrapping the handle. Uh, this is way too sharp of a tool to use without some type of wrap or some type of handle because it is slippery. I used it about two times. I swung it two times before I realized it must have a wrap on the handle. All right, so what this, uh, what this mall I specifically use it for, I bought it because I do a lot of fence making and I wanted something that I could also cut with. But this has taken the place of my other malls for splitting wood. So if you're on a homestead or if you just want to split wood and you want an excellent tool for it, this is gonna cut your wood so much easier than any ax or any typical American mall. Not that we don't make good malls, it's just the quality of something like this, it, it can't be matched right now. That's uh, it's a good product. <laughs> you can't really beat it. So we're gonna show you a little bit of uh, how we use this and we're just gonna be splitting some wood for you today. Uh, we're also gonna show you uh, how to use it with some wedges here. Okay, so when you're splitting, you want to take a look at the knots and you want to try and split in between them. Some of them are going to be running all the way through, so you might have a difficult time and they'll intersect and connect, but that's where the mall really comes in handy. So if we do run into a problem with this splitting, we can go ahead and use one of the wedges to break through those knots and it's not going to cause us too much of a headache. All right, we're going to split this piece of wood here and show you why this thing's been so good to me. So this is a very wet piece of uh, pine that they've got here. But as you can see, with that weight, we're already starting to achieve uh, some splitting happening. Well, at this point, since it's so wet, I think we're just gonna go straight into the wedge and show you why a maul is different than an ax. Now this short handle gives me a lot of control. I'm able to stand really close to my work and it makes me a lot more accurate with my swings. Whereas an American one, you're out another three or four inches and it gives you more leverage, but less control. You come right in here and you never want to twist when you have just a little bit of your blade in. You want to sink deep in before twisting. As you can see, we've got a huge crack already. Let's see if I can hit that right on the same line. Pretty close. Went ahead and split it up. And now we'll put it in a piece for a good stove. There's accuracy. And the Grand Force Brooks lets you easily put this into your chopping block, whereas the other one, you'd have to find a place to lay it down because it just sinks right in there. So sharp, such a nice, great angle on it. There you go, guys, look at that. Firewood. Perfect. All right, guys, so I haven't used this thing yet and this is gonna be my first time. You saw Eric splitting there, he's a professional. I'm a mere amateur, so here we go. 
Very good. <laughs> All right, a little bit bigger piece here. more. There you go. All right. Give her that young blood energy. Nice. I like it. It splits really well. And as you heard Eric say, he's been using this thing for a while. You can see how well that's mushroomed out here from him using that on a wedge and it feels really nice. Okay. One thing Eugene, uh, he was doing correctly was, you know, he got through the wood, but part of the beauty of this is you don't have to swing too hard because the weight of it is uh it does the work for you so he got it done but he's he's breathing a little bit hard here so oh, just yeah. just go ahead and go easy and it will be easy thank you guys very much for watching hopefully you found that video interesting and useful and i want to thank eric for coming over and bringing this mall over for us um, it's been very fun to use it please go check his channel out i'll have an information button there coming up to check his channel out he's the guy that makes fierce fire and tinder torch and a lot of future things coming in the future and a very very cool little small business here out in washington state so go check his channel out um, and like i said about uh, these sheaths and the axe you guys can see links down in the description to buy this thing on amazon as well as the sheath um, it'll be available on our website also so thank you very much eric for coming over i just want to say thank you to their entire family they've been really good to me uh, he puts on an excellent production every single time uh, this guy has the best presentation of any youtuber i know and <laughs> i just uh i'm really thankful to have him uh have him have me over and uh have him in my life uh, you guys are a blessing to us and uh as eugene would say uh, be sure to praise God because he's responsible for everything we have and every breath we take. So I don't think I have to add anything to that. So thank you very much. And we'll see you guys in the future video over and out. Okay guys, well, Eric here is showing us a technique to split a more difficult log. This one has particularly more knots than usual and it's kind of wet. Very wet. So it looks like he's just putting two wedges side by side and using both of them in or alternating between one and the other. Look at that, so wet it doesn't even want to split, split off down a little in. piece. It's just wow. taking off a little chunk. Talk about a hard piece of wood. Man, this small though, it's very, very impressive. I, Vlad is like, man, we need to buy one of these. That's <laughs> a great one. Yeah. We probably will at some point. Just right down here. There's a line right there. Let's see if we can get it without this. It's kind of turning itself out, huh? Yeah. So wary of my cameraman there. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. So tough. Okay. Move the wedge. It's right by your knee there. Oh, is it? You guys put it on the side or just? Okay. No, there just we go. Straight across. Nice. Now. Nice. Should come apart. Just whack that big one one more time. Drive it in there. Uh, big, big old knot. Uh, yeah.
Got to come around the other side. So this is where you do your technique with two of them. <laughs> well, now, you now we only have one. We don't get to use. <laughs> what? I mean, it's just like a bad piece of wood. <laughs> there we go. Kind of just don't get it into those wedges that are down there. Not after you sharpened it. <laughs> You're like, dang it, Eric. Wow, look at that. Ugh. That's super wide, wide grain. Just yep. doesn't want to split. <laughs>